should we worry about surveillance? And I say, no, don't worry about surveillance. If ICBC puts surveillance on you, um, it's only going to be helpful for them if there's an inconsistency between what you're telling your doctors and what you're actually doing. So if you're consistent, if um, what you're telling your doctors is truthful in terms of your limitations, then there's nothing on videotape that could hurt your case. And ICBC uh, would never even provide us with a copy of the videotape. Uh, if um, they intend to use videotape at trial, then they have to provide us with a copy of that videotape at least seven days before trial. So um, there's no surprises, there's no smoking gun. Um, the majority of the time that surveillance is used, it is not at all helpful because people are, are, are honest. Um, I can remember years ago when I actually worked for ICBC, there was a time when surveillance was useful in one case. I remember there's a a professional had a, had a car crash case and he was telling everybody, uh, his doctors and uh, under oath at, at an examination for discovery, that he was very limited in his ability to do things. He couldn't bend over and lift anything more than say five or ten pounds. I'm just using that as an example. But we had him on videotape coming back from the liquor store uh, holding 48 cans of beer, going to the, to the to his car, putting all that beer in one hand, opening the trunk with the other hand and then bending over and putting the cans of beer in the back of the trunk. At that time videotape was useful for ICBC because there was an inconsistency between what he was telling people and what he was actually doing as demonstrated by the videotape. But if you're honest with everybody, videotape is, is just not an issue and I wouldn't worry about the surveillance. And in fact, um, it's really not used all that often. It's more of something something people really shouldn't worry about at all.